Hey guys, guess what? Look what I got in the mail! <gasps> More Amiibos! <laughs> Not for you, Gatsby. These are the ones that came out in Asia, and I got it from Play Asia, which sounds like a sex toy store. Let's get our scissors and open it up. See what I got. So I just decided to order them from Asia instead because they release in Asia two to three months before it releases in the United States, which is kind of ridiculous. And it wasn't that expensive. I think I got these for about $23 each, including shipping. This package is really nice too. Perfect packaging. I got three Amiibos. I didn't get all of them. Zero Suit Samus. Dark Pit. And I got Palutena here. They're all Japanese over here. You can tell from the back. It's all in Japanese. But the good thing is that it totally works with the game with any Wii U game or on um, 3DS because the only difference is the packaging is in Japanese. Like the figure works the same if it's in Japan or in the US. So I decided to get them because I could get them early so I don't have to wait. And also because it's easier to get them in Japan and other places so I don't have to stand in line and hunt them and be all sad because I hear that Dark Pit and Polytana are probably gonna be store exclusives. There we go, this is my haul. I got these three. I wasn't able to get Ganondorf from here. I ordered it from Europe, so it should be coming soon. Gatsby with his amiibos. Let's open these now. So Zero Suit Samus in America is coming out in September, which I was like, I can't wait that long. She has a really weird, like, very different plastic smell. She looks pretty cool. I don't really mind the stand that much. It's kind of weird in the back. Pretty awesome. Let's open Palutena now. One of the most details, other than maybe Ganondorf, who's coming later, as I keep mentioning. That's Palutena. I think they kind of messed up, so a lot of people were saying they messed up her hands. And they messed up her eyes a little bit, which... I'm glad that they kept this halo thing around her. <laughs> they just glued it on her head. <laughs> She's a really cool one. Finally, Dark Pit, or in Japan it's called Black Pit. Ooh, I'm glad they kept his bow like super long like that. It looks so cool. He's really tiny though. Awesome. Sit down. Good dog. Uh-oh. Now time to add them to my collection. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna rearrange it, but I got my Palutena and my Zero Suit Samus right there, which is supposed to mirror the pit and the Captain Falcon on that side. There we go. Awesome. Look at all those amiibos. Off to the gym right now, and I have to run some errands, so let's do this. Just got done with my workout. I'm gonna take my cell mass over here, which is my recovery stuff, which is glutamine and creatine inside of it. The playpen that I was borrowing from my friend Kristen. So the family, I guess, needs it back because their friend is getting a puppy now. Okay, I just dropped off the cage, and now I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Just driving around town right now. <laughs> Gotta get everything done. What's your name, B.O.B., so I call you Bob? Stop playing, Ziggy. You know that I'm known for the Bob. You don't need a feature, it's like I'm the feature. You could be the priest, I'm gonna be the preacher. You could be the He-Man, I'm gonna be the Shira. You could be the Grim, I'm gonna be the Reaper. Airplanes and night skies like shooting stars. You gonna really need a wish right now. My goons come through and start shooting stars. You know I'm all about shoes and cars. I'm kinda drunk off booze Bacardi. I told baby when I get my new advance, I'll blow the mother effer on a blue Bugatti. You know I graduated summa cum laude. That's why I'm thinking I'm Illuminati. Well matter of fact, let's kiss and make up. I'll help you escape on my blue Ducati. To the Asian market there. Gotta grab some food. I haven't been cooking in a while. I've just been eating Chipotle every day. Look at this sign in the bathroom. Fortune never comes unless you keep place clean. Baby bok choy time. I'm gonna grab some more ramen there. Look at all that. I'm gonna grab some more sukiyaki beef and rice. This was like the best rice ever. 
the Yuki no Kakera, which means like snowflakes. Oh, so good. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Okay, got all everything I needed. They had this thing, I wanted to vlog it, but there was like, it was too crowded around that area, but they had this thing, it was so funny, a ramen holder. And what it was, was it was just like this, like rubber thing that you stick your fingers in to carry the ramen bowl when it's hot. Come on! Because if you, if you don't have that, you can't carry your ramen. So I got rice, some more natto, which is like this fermented soybean stuff, which most people would hate. I got some baby bok choy, Napa cabbage over here. I got two sukiyaki beefs here, the thinly sliced beefs. Got my ramen here, shoyu ramen, that's the soy sauce flavor. I also got extra ramens over here. This is just the noodles by itself, just because I actually have extra soup bases, because I usually only use one, and they come with two. And that's it. I guess we're gonna be eating well tonight. So here's the new fence that we got for 25 bucks. That was a pretty good deal, huh? You gotta clean it off. It's super tall. That's awesome. Yeah, Gatsby, $25, isn't that a steal? He's ready to go to the park, yeah. I just cleaned this off. It needs to be cleaned even more, but it looks pretty good. It doesn't take up as much room as the other one. So at night, I just need to pull this across. It's Gatsby's time, yeah? Gatsby. The doggies. Go, go, go! Ooh, hello. Hey! What's going on, Gatsby? <laughs> Corgi versus Chocolate Lab. <laughs> Bruno's just like, this is so annoying. Gatsby, you're not doing anything to me. I don't feel any of this. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Nice, Bruno. Thank you. Gatsby's trying to walk. He's hurting, Bruno. I'm walking you. I don't know. That's me. It's time to go. Let's go, let's leave that. It's time to cook some dinner. Let's do this. Making the thinly sliced sukiyaki beef. And let's have some of this. <laughs> this guy's like, what? And I got my pomzu sauce still. I think it should still be good. We're just gonna saute it and the cabbage is just gonna get boiled. Super easy, simple life. Takes like five minutes to make. Just taking off the leaves here. Awesome. And I know the G is like envying all this too. Like this with the doggy. And then chop these into slightly larger pieces. They shrivel when you boil it. I guess we, I put some in his food there. He's been eating it one by one, huh? Yeah. There he goes. He's like, go. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna eat some more of those. Okay, so we got this chopped up. We're gonna start doing this. And you guys were wondering where I got these pans from. I got them from Costco, where I got almost everything from. Green pan. That's what it's called. We're gonna melt a little bit of butter on top of here and then fry those up. It takes only like a minute per side. Okay, so this is melted, but I'm gonna turn it off because this is boiling already, so that's ready. Guess we already ate all of these pieces. So we're gonna stick these inside. And then I just boil these and then use this dipping sauce over here, the Ponzu's dipping sauce that I always talk about, which is so good. Okay, there we go. So good, and this cooks super quickly because it's the thinly sliced sukiyaki style. All right, this looks like it's done. So let's just take it out. Ooh, nice and green. And this should be done already now, too. There we go, look how beautiful this rice is. The Shirayuki rice. 
My parents actually bought this one bag once, a $50 bag of rice, and it was like a tiny, tiny bag, and it was like the best tasting rice ever. But this is actually pretty good too. $30, but it's a pretty big bag. Anyway, there we go. Got that. We got our dipping sauce here, which I use on both the beef and the cabbage. That way I don't really need to season it with anything else. And we get our rice seasoning here. I like this shiso fumi fudi pake over here. So instead of having to season everything like beforehand, you just dip it in stuff and season it afterwards. Which makes things even easier. And there we go, it's dinner time. Okay. So I'm just gonna take this. Yeah. It tastes like a citrusy soy sauce. I keep saying this, but a lot of you guys keep asking about it. And then I pour it on here too. It makes it taste so good. Okay. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. See you guys afterwards. I just want to say thanks for helping me get to 30,000 subscribers, woo! My friend Sean like texted me, he's like, look, you made it! He was counting down. Yes! Thanks guys. Here's to the next 30,000 subscribers. I'll just keep putting out content. I can't stop staring at the amiibos over here. It's so nice, look at all of them. My gosh! Anyway, um, I saw two movies that I thought that I would review. There were two kids movies that I saw, Paddington and also Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I liked both of them. <laughs> First of all, Paddington. Oh, that was real that was a really good movie. Very very charming and very different. It wasn't directed by Wes Anderson, but it has kind of like a Wes Anderson feel without being a Wes Anderson movie. Very quirky and very artsy. It's based off of the book Paddington. Remind me a lot of of Gatsby. If Gatsby could talk, he would just be exactly like Paddington, I think. Anyway, the other movie that I saw was also based off of the book, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. This one was actually a Disney movie. I don't know, I like it when Disney does these kinds of live action movies. I kind of compare it a little bit to Max Keeble's Big Move, which I thought was a terrible movie when it came out. You guys probably don't even know what that is. That was like when I was younger. I compare it to something like Freaky Friday, which was actually a really good live action movie. It was just a really fun, short, frivolous movie <laughs> where everyone has just really bad luck. It didn't take itself too seriously and it was just really fun. Both of those movies, I would have to give them both out of four stars, I would give them three stars. Although I would have to say Paddington was a lot better than that movie, but they were still in the same tier. So do you guys see either of those? Definitely check out Paddington, especially if you haven't seen that one. That one's very special, has really high reviews. I'll put in the comments below what you thought. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed now. And I'll see you guys later. Good night. Well, the bodybuilding.com line is usually the longest, so maybe we should go to that one first. What are you doing? Nothing, you just stand in line, they give you stuff. <laughs> yeah. Woo! This bodybuilding.com line goes around like the whole building. Okay.